Hi everyone, this video is all about the language of sets. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to describe and illustrate well-defined sets and null sets, identify the elements of sets, identify the cardinality of sets, differentiate between finite sets and infinite sets. Now, what is sets? According to the Webster Dictionary, it is the collection of well-defined objects or things. Para mas madali maunawaan kung anong ibig sabihin ng sets, mag-focus lang tayo sa salitang well-defined. Bakit? Kasi hindi lahat ng mga bagay na nakikita natin group of things ay pwede natin i-consider as sets. Para hindi magkamali, sa pagkilala kung ano yung example ng sets at ano yung example ng hindi naman sets, you have to ask yourself. Okay naman? Use your senses. Kapag ginawa mo ang dalawang ito, malalaman mo, you can easily differentiate, you can easily identify kung ano sa collection of things ang well-defined at ano naman po yung hindi po well-defined or tinatawag niya yun natin na null sets. Now, let's have this example. Identify if the following is well-defined sets or not. Number one, the set of grade 7 students in our school. Number two, the set of teachers who handled mathematics in Sampaguita Village National High School. Three, the set of all large numbers. 4. The set of good writers 5. The set of nice people in your class You can pause this video while you are answering Then after, i-play mo na lang para malaman ang sagot Now let's answer the questions Number 1. The set of grade 7 students in our school Is it well-defined sets or null sets? The answer is well defined. Bakit siya well defined? Kasi obviously, kaya natin mag distinguish yung mga grade 7 students ng ating school. Iba sila sa mga grade 8, grade 9, grade 10, senior high school, at iba rin yung mga grade 7 na nagmula sa ibang schools. Number 2. The set of teachers who handled mathematics in Sampaguita Village National High School. The answer for number 2 is also well-defined. Number 2 is well-defined because if you are studying in Sampaguita Village National High School, obviously, madali mong makikilala kung sino yung mga mathematics, mathematics teacher mo. Possibly, lahat ng estudyante na nag-aaral sa SVNHS kilala kung sino yung mga mathematics teachers. Number 3. The set of all large numbers. Number 3 is null set because large number would be infinite. Walang katapusan po yung large number. Kung para sa'yo malaki na yung 1 million, sa iba mas malaki pa yung 1 billion. So on and so forth. So hindi po natin define kung gaano kalaki yung large numbers. For the number 4, the set of good writers. Number 4 is also null set. Bakit? Kasi kung para sa akin, yung writer na kilala ko is a good writer, maaring sa iba, hindi siya magaling. Maaring iba yung preference nila sa good writer. Number 5, the set of nice people in your class. For the number 5, this is null set. Bakit? Ganun din. You ask yourself. Kung para sa akin yung isang tao is nice person, maaring sa iba hindi po siya nice. Now to sum up well-defined sets or null sets, again, all you have to do is ask yourself, tanungin yung sarili kung siya ba ay acceptable para sa lahat? Kapanipaniwala ba siya para sa lahat? Or para sa iilang tao lang? that's the case, maaring siya ay isang null sets. Kung acceptable para sa lahat ng tao, then that is definitely well-defined sets. 
Next, use your senses. Halimbawa, hindi lahat ng naaamoy natin na mabango ay mabango para sa ibang tao. Yung pagkain na for us, masarap, maaring sa ibang tao ay hindi po siya masarap. Then that collection of food ay maaring null set. Now, how about colors? Obviously, kapag nagpakita ako dito sa inyo at sinabi kong this font color is black, obviously, alam natin na yan talaga ay black. Let's proceed to the next topic. There are three ways to describe sets. We have descriptive method, rooster or listing method, we have set builder notation. When we say descriptive method, we use words to describe the set. So, kaya naman word description. For example, even numbers between 1 and 10. As you can see, words lamang po siya. But the word descriptive or description. Now, ano ba yung mga numbers or even numbers between 1 and 10? By the way, pag sinabi natin even numbers, those are numbers that are divisible by 2 or multiples of 2. So between 1 and 10, ano ba yung mga even numbers? We have 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Doon papasok ngayon yung tinatawag nating rooster or listing method. Now, pansinin na in rooster or listing method, we use the bracket symbol, sorry, the braces symbol, and yung common natin is very important kasi yun yung magsisiparate sa bawat members or we call this as elements. Okay. Lahat ng mga members na nasa set ay tatawagin nating elements. At bawat elements is separated by a comma. At sila po ay naka-enclosed sa braces. Number three, we have the set builder notation. Set builder notation is describing the element. Para siyang pinagsamang descriptive method at saka listing method. The only difference is that we use this notation. Pa, paano ito babasahin? Ito po bin ay binabasa as x such that x. Gumagamit tayo ng variable x because it could have any value depending on the description about the elements. Again, for descriptive method, we use word description. Sa listing method, we list down all the elements or members of the set. Sa set builder notation, para siyang pinagsamang descriptive method and listing method. Para malaman nyo po kung siya ay set builder notation, again, we use this notation x such that x. Example, x such that x is an even number from 1 to 10. Next, alamin natin kung anong ibig sabihin ng elements and cardinality of sets. Kanina nabanggit ko na yung ibig sabihin ng elements. When we see elements, the members of the given set. For example, we have here set A. By the way, we use capital letter to denote sets. Now, for set A, meron siyang elements na 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and 16. Itong mga numbers na nasa loob ng ating braces ang tinatawag nating elements. Now, ang symbol ng element ay parang letter E. We use this symbol to indicate element. Halimbawa, 4 is an element of set A. Kung meron ditong given na wala sa loob ng set A, say for example we have here 20, then we will say 20 is not an element of set A. This symbol is for the element. 
this symbol is for not element. Next, we have the cardinality. Pag sinabi natin cardinality, it has something to do with how many elements are there in a given set. Balikan natin sa set A. Sa set A ay merong ilang elements? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ibig sabihin po, sa set A ay merong cardinality na 8. For the set B, my name, Melcher, meron tayo ditong cardinality na 7. Again, pag sinabi nating elements, that is the members of any given set. Pag sinabi natin cardinality, it pertains to the total number of elements. But how about kung meron tayong given example just like this one? Set C is equal to 5, 6, 9, 9, 11. Ano yung cardinality ng set C? Is it 5? No. The cardinality of set C is only 4. Bakit po 4 lamang? Kasi as you can see, yung 9 dito ay naulit. Remember the definition of sets. It should be a well-defined set. Ibig sabihin po, kahit sobrang daming numbers na nandiyo dyan, counted lang po yun as 1. Kinakailangan po na bawat members of the element is unique to one another. Hindi pwedeng meron siyang kaparehas. Okay? So that is all about elements and cardinality of sets. Next, let's proceed to finite set and infinite set. I have here two examples. Set X is equal to X such that X is a letter in English alphabet. Set Y is equal to X such that X is an even number. Anong mapapansin ninyo sa given example? Anong klaseng way of describing a set? Tama? That is set builder notation let's analyze first the set x again set x is equal to x such that x is a letter in english alphabet since x is a variable it could have any value depende po lamang yan sa kung ano yung ating description na ibinigay ang ating description for the set x letter in english alphabet ano pa yung mga letters in english alphabet Meron ba siyang katapusan? Yes. How about for the set Y? Set Y is equal to X such that X is an even number. Ano ba yung mga even number again? Pag sinabi natin even number, multiples of 2 or numbers that are divisible by 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, so on and so forth. Sa tingin niyo po ba meron katapusan? yung even number wala po okay then therefore kahit anong way of describing a set could be descriptive method listing method or set builder notation as long as there is a limitation sa elements tatawagin natin siyang finite set Kapag naman po yung elements is infinite, obviously walang katapusan, that is an example of infinite set. Naunawa na po ba yung ating lesson? Kung naintindihan mo na ang ating lesson, let's try to answer some questions. Fill in each blank with the symbol for element or the symbol for not an element of any given set. Given, we have set A is equal to factors of 12 and set B is equal to even numbers between 2 and 12. You can post this video at i-play mo na lang kapag tapos ka ng magsagot.
you have 2 minutes to answer the questions. If you are done, let's answer the questions. Bago natin siya masagutan, we have to analyze muna kung ano yung given. For example, for the set A, set A is a factor of 12. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng factors? Pag sinabi natin factors, those are numbers or two numbers that when we multiply, the product should be 12. Ano ba yung mga number na kapag tinimes natin, ang sagot ay 12? Meron tayong 2 times 6. Meron tayong 1 times 12. Meron tayong 3 times 4. Okay? Or you can rearrange the elements. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. How about for the set B? Set B are even numbers between 2 and 12. Ano ba yung mga numbers between, even numbers between 2 and 12? Again, pag sinabi natin even numbers, numbers that are multiples of 2 or can be divided by 2. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. Now, since alam na natin kung ano yung mga elements ng given set, masasagutan na ngayon natin yung mga questions natin. Number 1, is 1 an element of A? Yung 1 ba ay nasa set A? Yes or no? The answer is yes, then therefore, we use this symbol. Number 2, is 2 an element of A? Nasa A ba yung 2? The answer is yes. So 2 is an element of A. Number 3. 3 is 3 an element of A? Yes or no? Nasa A ba ang 3? The answer is yes. So 3 is an element of A. Number 4. Is 5 an element of set B? Nandi dito ba sa set B ang 5? No. Therefore, the answer for the number 4 is not an element of. So 5 is not an element of set B. Number 5. Is 1 an element of set B? Hindi rin po. Therefore, the answer for the number 5 is not an element of set B. Ayun lamang po. Sana meron kayong natutunan sa ating lesson. See you next video. Bye!